If I had a nickel for every time I heard, I like you, I just don't like paying you, I'd have a lot of nickels. As a divorce lawyer, I hear this surprisingly a lot because people love to say that they hate lawyers and divorce lawyers and all that, I, you know, whatever, I get it. But I've heard this many, many times throughout my career and I, I think that when clients say that, they wanna to get to their goal. They don't wanna just be paying me unendingly, you know, on and on and on for years on end. They want to get to some type of closure and resolution. And that's the first step, obviously, in, in resolving in their head their divorce or their family law matter. I completely get it. And I think that's the way it should be. Your goal is to get in and get out. You want to get your case over with. You want to be able to move on to that next phase of your life. You have better things to spend your money on. Yourself, Christmas for the kids, vacations, a new car. I feel like I'm in a Price is Right show or something, but you have better things to spend your money on than to give it to me or your divorce lawyer. And there's reasons why attorneys are paid what they're paid during the divorces, because it's not easy. What we do, I'm not, trying to pat myself on the back, but it, it, it's, it's tough. It's not, it's not an easy thing. It's definitely not for the faint of heart. So divorce lawyers do earn their money. They do earn what they charge and they demand those prices because people pay them. It's indicative of their value and their worth. Just because they're charging you that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to pay them just unendingly and mortgage your house um, in order to, to be able to pay for it or liquidate your entire life savings. The goal is a resolution. So that phrase of, I like you, but I don't like paying you, means that you're going down that right path. We get it, we know you're not always gonna listen to us, but we're gonna give you advice and you can choose to listen to it or not. Uh, divorce lawyers and lawyers in general aren't always right. I know that's not like a big shock news flash, but we're not always right. We do the best that we can based upon the facts that are given to us and then we apply the law and we give you advice. Listening to it and then weighing it in your mind and going through it and trying to determine, okay, now what are the next steps that you wanna take? And if that means getting to a compromise and a resolution and resolving your case, Sometimes that's the best way to resolve it in a more efficient and more cost-effective route. Sometimes there's no other option but going to trial, but still there are ways in order to minimize your costs. And those are things that if you have an attorney that you should speak with them about. And you should ask them, okay, I, I get it. I need to go to trial on this because there's, a, there's just a, a disagreement that we can't agree on. And sometimes even very reasonable people take very similar positions on things and they need to have somebody make the decision for them, a judge. And that's what the judge is there for. So there are many reasons to spend money on attorneys during the divorce, but it's not always the answer. More money doesn't always bring better results. It just means you're spending more money. So for you, you have to decide that for yourself of whether or not to just keep handing over money or taking control of the situation to try to get to a resolution. And sometimes that means people have to move positions and they may come in with a certain set of goals. And that's something I do personally as a Florida divorce lawyer is try to determine in the beginning, what are the client's goals and what is the plan that's going to get us there? Now it may change along the way. Things come up. Life happens so we get it and many times people think this is the holy grail of it in this search is oh let's just find the most expensive attorney and and, and throw tons of money at them and that's going to bring them some ethereal happiness or so but at the end of the day you've just spent a lot more money so you have to find out what your goals are you have to find that attorney that can help you get to that those goals and then along the way you have to be spot checking to see where you're at throughout the process to determine if your goals need to change and what the costs moving forward in each step of the way. Whatever path you're going down, whether it's settlement or towards trial or going at both at the same time. Sometimes the best result 
is closure. And sometimes that's the best repayment that I can give to a client is closure and getting them to that promised land of finality and giving you the ability to live your life to the fullest again.